caught me off guard. <laughs> Uh, I think one thing that I had to learn the hard way is uh, how, to, how do you manage your money when it comes to uh, doing this for a living. And then just there's times when you're touring where you will tour heavy from April to October. But when November, December, January, February comes around and you ain't got gig coming in or whatever it is, uh, I had to learn the hard way the very first year. I, all the gigs I've had were salary up until 2008. And a lot of people don't talk about that stuff, like uh, drum clinics or any places I go to, they don't, they don't talk about that real stuff. <laughs> that money thing, that's a, that's a big deal. Like just make sure you're managing your money, be a good steward over the stuff that you have and don't, don't blow it just because I have a gig or I have a tour gig or whatever. All the gigs that I've gotten as have come because uh, just being able to hang out with somebody, just being a nice guy. Like, oh, that's Lester. He's real cool, man. He blah blah blah. You should hire him for this. It wasn't about I had chops or I had these certain skills. A lot of it was they liked the experience that they had with me while we were on stage or while we were in the studio. So that's how I got recommended for any gig that I've had, and it's all been every gig that I've gotten has been recommendation and auditions or whatever, but the audition process that uh, people don't really talk about, they'll scope you out. They'll ask people, you know, what's up with this dude, is he cool? And if somebody's saying, oh, that dude, you don't wanna mess with him, he's, you know, he's got bad attitude, he's got this or that, then you won't be working very much. Um, I, I try to hold off moving for a long time. I got family here, very comfortable here. The biggest thing was everybody kept telling me, man, as soon as you move, you're gonna be working. As soon as you move, I promise you. And that town is, I've heard it's a five or seven year town, meaning it takes that long to get like a solid, solid gig. But once me and my family moved over there, like I had, I got the Big Bridge gig within six months. I had the Kelly gig within a year. So you, you never know, like you just kinda, I just kinda walk through that open door and just just be ready for whatever comes. I grew up in church and uh, a lot of the, the, the learning of discipline or learning what to play or not to play happened for me trial and error at church. So my dad was, uh, Mr. Music, or just whoever, a choir director or whatever, and you learn a lot of that stuff from what I did. I learned a lot of that stuff from just watching and paying attention. So when it comes to this, when it comes to Kelly, or when it comes to any of that other stuff, it was like, that's easy for me. I just watch whoever and just kind of follow along and then just make sure I play the right parts, obviously. But um, I think that for me anyway, it that brought a lot of uh, focus and just, uh, just discipline, all all around discipline to my to my playing. Mm -hmm.